The next story was inspired by a Warcraft episode of South Park, where the main characters Cartman, Stan, Kenny, and Kyle all play a popular multiplayer online role-playing game called World of Warcraft. The antagonist in this case was a man who they called He Who Has No Life, who was a high-level player going around and taking out other players in the game. The boys start playing the game every day in a quest to stop him. Here's our take on what the twisted sequel might look like. Like. This goes out to all the fallen warriors who went to battle against he who has no life. And those few who were the first to ever make him taste defeat will wield the sword of a thousand truths. At least we would be doing that if the guy who keeps the sword of a thousand truths in his inventory would freaking log in. All those losers who stopped playing World of Warcraft right after we finally got rid of the guy who kept killing us. What do we do now? Isn't it obvious? Now we can finally play the game. Oh, right. Screw that. I'm tired of this game. Me too. I want to take a shower. What? What the hell are you talking about? Hey, where are you going? You guys get back here. We need to start prepping for Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Kenny's right. I feel like we let ourselves go, dude. Yeah, I can't believe I let myself get this fat. I've got to start doing exercises. Maybe I'll get a membership at Planet Fitness tomorrow. Exercise? Oh, screw you guys. I guess I'll just have to reap the benefits all by myself. Guys? I didn't even need them anymore. After we absolutely pwned that loser and humiliated him in front of the entire server, he never came back. With the rest of my team logged off for good, I became the sole idol of defense, righteousness, and balance. A shining beacon for all players in the expansive and immersive World of Warcraft to look up to. Damn it, I'm bored! The following week, I waddled to meet up with Kenny, Kyle, Stan, and Butter at the bus stop, in which the first three seemed to have returned to their normal physiques. Hey, what's up, losers? So you finally decided to go outside again, huh, Cartman? Shut up, Kale! One of us has to stay behind and keep that guy from coming back! Wait, that's why you're still playing World of Warcraft? No, I'm still playing it because it's still a fun game, Stan! You wouldn't know anything about that! Um, yeah, I would. We've all been playing the new Call of Duty. That's a fun game. Stop pretending, you guys. Call of Duty isn't fun anymore, either. The guy with no life is ruining this game for us all now. What did you just say? He's on the new Call of Duty like everyone else. There's no point in protecting the World of Warcraft anymore, Cartman. Shut up, Kale! My mom just bought me the new Call of Duty! I just don't feel like playing with you scrubs! It doesn't even matter anymore. We're all done playing. We can't get a single kill because that guy just runs around the map and takes everybody out before we even see him. Oh, man. I just bought that game. Won't you guys play just a few matches with me? Are you kidding me? He's back? You know what this means, guys. We have to reunite and restore order once again. No way. I developed pre-diabetes from the last time I did that with you. I'm turning over a new leaf. Yeah, Cartman, there's a whole big, beautiful world out there if you just go enjoy the outdoors. Fine. I never needed you guys in the first place. I was always doing all the work anyway. Come on, Butters. Are you going to join me or are you going to accept defeat like those losers? Uh, I'll join you, I guess, Eric. Good. No. Come on! We have no time to lose! Good luck, Butters. Man, those guys have no life. And just like that, it began all over again. The battle between good and evil. This time, it took place in a different dimension. A series of battlegrounds where soldiers came to answer the call of duty. The battles only lasted 10 minutes, but the strict training regiment I designed only allowed for 15 second breaks for eating and pissing about every 10 rounds. Number twos were taken care of by my mother, but fighting this battle required even more sacrifices than the last. Three hours of sleep every night was finally let me go, I got right down to business. First, I paid a little visit to my old friend, Cal. Cartman, is that you? This is for Casa Bonita, Cal. You should have just invited me to your birthday party! <laughs> <laughs> but this wasn't just a sense of slaughter. Not even just for revenge. All of these people who wronged me had all the resources necessary to take me to Casa Bonita. Once I finished up with Kyle, the next enemy on my hit list was Butters. Butthead. Ah! Butters! They're coming! Get up! We have to go and they're gonna find us! Who? Where are they? What's going on? Oh dear. The cannibals, Butters! It's the cannibals again! They still want to eat you alive! Oh jeez, no, not again! What are we gonna do, Eric? Wait, wait, hold on a second. There's no cannibals. You're, you're just lying to me again, aren't you? But, 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 
yes, but also no. <laughs> the next stop was my own house. I rang the doorbell a few times, and there came my mother, stricken with motherly worry. Oh my, what have they done to you, my boy? We'll get you all cleaned up right away. Doesn't that sound good, my little poops again? <laughs> the deed was finally done. Of course, I also took care of Stan and Kenny to garner as much money as I possibly could before my grand arrival at Nessa Bonita once again. After I took care of my business as a free man, I cleaned up and took it easy for the rest of the night. The next day, I got out of bed bright and early in the morning. I changed back into a fresh pair of my civilian clothes and counted up all the cash I stole. I thankfully had more than enough to pay for paradise at Casa Bonita. The bus dropped me off right after Casa Bonita opened, making me the first in line for everything. Oh yeah! Tacos, chalupas, tamales! Mmm! So good! Back through Black Bart's cave! There's the skeleton again! Ooh! And the ghost's in here too now! That's new! Ooh, scary! Wait a second, that's not supposed to be a ghost in here! Who's there? Stay back! I then saw- <laughs>